Okay, in this video, I'm going to briefly demonstrate how to carry out penalized maximum likelihood logistic regression using the FIRTH method uh, in R. So uh, basically, this type of method would be utilized when you have a dependent variable involving rare event and low frequency data. So uh, the logist F package is, is a package that will allow you to carry out this type of analysis. Just so you know, uh, some of the potential problems with using standard maximum likelihood estimation with log logistic regression in cases where you have rare event and low frequency data include the following. Uh, biases in estimates of population parameters. Uh, problems with model convergence uh, as a result of complete or quasi-separation. And problems with walled standard errors and test statistics. So um, information on the uh, package uh, that we're talking about can actually be obtained right here. And I'm going to have this uh, text file where you can download it from uh, the video site. And uh, so if you want more information on uh, what's going on in this presentation or, or within this text file, you can just download from there. Uh, so I have a little bit of a discussion about how to install the package. Uh, and then where to obtain the, the uh, data used in this presentation. It's right here. It's in a Google Drive. I've already actually downloaded it and created a data frame that I'm calling Mediate R. Um, basically, I've just imported the CSV uh, data into that data frame. So I'm going to proceed actually from, from this point. So the first uh, thing I'm going to do is just demonstrate uh, how to carry out, use the logist F function right here. Uh, in order to just carry out a standard logistic regression with maximum likelihood estimation and walled uh, confidence intervals and tests. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, open up R here and I'm just going to type in library logist F and hit enter. So it's ready to go now and you'll notice that uh, what we have right here is a fit object. Uh, basically uh, the analysis is being carried on the data on, with this part of our uh, syntax and you can see a little arrow pointing to fit one and that's just an object that's going to contain the results from our analysis. So we're using the logist f function right here. Um, the first argument it says data equals mediate with a capital R so basically um, we're calling up um, our data frame right here and then we have um, our dependent variable ACHC and basically that is uh, this variable right here so this is it and uh, we have uh, considerable size discrepancies between the groups so you could basically consider the group that's coded zero as essentially um, the quote unquote rare event group with very low uh, frequency count associated with it. So uh, you'll see we have a little tilde right here and then we've got uh, gender plus M goal plus anxiety plus uh, uh, SMINT. And so um, just pay attention to um, uh, uh, the um, case uh, for your for, for the um, letters in your in your uh, variables. Um, so this is a capital MG right here and that's going to correspond to what you have uh, right here. So there's M, M goal right there, there's uh, SMINT right there and so forth. So um, at any rate, after we've, so this is just laid out, laid out in the same way that we typically would use uh, the LM function uh, in running a regression analysis. So uh, you'll notice that we have a comma, then we have FIRTH equals and then FALSE. So right now, this particular um, approach, we are just going to run a standard maximum likelihood uh, logistic regression. And so when we set FIRTH equal to FALSE, um, we're not going to be using the FIRTH method. You also see that we have PL equals FALSE right here. And so that's going to produce uh, maximum likelihood estimates with walled uh, confidence intervals and tests. Um, so I'm actually just going to highlight all of this, copy it and paste in, hit enter, and now if I want to just uh, take a look at it, I'm going to type summary fit one, that's my uh, object containing the results, and there it is. So you'll notice up here we have our, our basic information about the model and what we specified. Next you'll see it says confidence intervals and p-values by walled right here. Uh, you'll see that we have the uh, intercept, uh, there's gender, um, uh, mastery goals, anxiety, and so forth. So we have our unstandardized uh, regression coefficients that are uh, presented in this column right here. We have the standard errors. Uh, you'll notice that we have a chi-square value and a, a 
associated p-value. Uh, and then we, you can also see that we have essentially a 95% confidence intervals for each of our coefficient estimates. You'll notice too that we have the likelihood ratio test. Um, so basically this is just testing whether uh, the model that includes our predictors uh, represents a significant improvement in fit over a null model or an intercept only model. Um, if we want to also take a look at, um, if we want the odds ratios, we can also use um, um, the EXP function. So it's EXP inside uh, the parenthesis here we've got COEF for coefficients and inside another parenthesis we have our fit object. So I'm just going to actually copy and paste this in as well. And so now we have the odds ratios associated with each of our um, our uh, variables and in including the intercept right there. So now let's rerun the analysis but use the first method. So in this case right here I'm going to create a new data object or a new object that's called fit2 and it's going to contain the results of our analysis. But So everything up to about this point is the same but now you'll see that I have firth and this should actually say equals true. So I'm going to type in true right here and then PL equals true as well. So in fact I'm just going to resave over this. And um, so I'm going to uh, copy this and paste it in and hit enter and then I'm going to type in summary then fit to and there are the results. So now you can see that once again uh, we have all, you know, our, our general model specification. You can see right here it says model fitted by penalized ML uh, confidence intervals and uh, p-values by profile likelihood. So basically all the values now uh, are um, utilizing um, this uh, particular approach to uh, model estimation. So um, basically that is uh, it in a nutshell. Um, and if you want, as you can see right here, if we want uh, the uh, odds ratios, we can still get that in the same way that we did before, uh, just using the EXP um, uh, function and then inside parenthesis we've got the COEF function and inside this parenthesis the name of our um, object that contains our results.